Okay, this is gonna be really quick because I'm sitting at my dining room table instead of uh, in my room like usual. But I got a big box from Manta Kingdom today. So I thought I'd open it on camera since it's been a hot minute since I've posted anything on my channel. Um, I ordered three different kinds of mantises and there's, there's a lot of them in here. So let's see what we've got. Oh, you're very cute. Will it focus on you? Not even close, no. Um, so this is a little spiny flower mantis. Oh, I love these guys. Look how small. <laughs> okay, so we got one of those. Oh, here's another one. Oh, he's eating a snack. I don't know how much you can see, but he is... Uh, eating a snack in there. Oh, I love these little dudes. Two of them. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Oh, here's another one. This one's nice and big. I love that little dance they can do. I really wish it would focus. It's, my camera's not very good. So three of those. I've got them in a Sorry, there's a glass next to me, and I just realized that there's a big fly in it. That's really gross. Um, what in oh, another one. Four of those. Goodness, I love this species. They're so stinking cute. <clears throat> oh, here we go. An orchid. Oh my goodness, so little. So, um, I ordered three orchids because all of the males that I had for my previous batch have matured and passed on, which is sad, but that's what's to be expected. They, uh, don't live very long. My females haven't matured yet, so I got another batch hoping, um, I get at least one boy, the last, the, so I bought a batch of six and then another batch of three, um, hoping to get males out of my second batch, all female. That's exciting. And then um, I've got these guys, so I'm really hoping I get at least one boy out of here. They're really tiny, so it's hard to tell right now. But uh, one, just one boy. It'd be great. Um, so, oh, here's another spiny flower mantis. I ordered five, so here is the fifth one. This one's nice and big. Oh, what are you batting at? Something on your antenna? Beauty. Okay, so five of those. And here's one of the other orchids. Very tiny little friend. Look how small. I haven't painted my nails. Sorry, they're really gross right now. I broke one and I got upset and I pulled all my polish off. Okay, two orchids. Three orchids. Here's the third one. Oh, this one's nice and chunky. Nice and fat. Being all cute. Looking around. So there's three of those guys. Excellent, excellent. They're too tall to put in my townhouses. Uh, I've got to figure something out. Put them in until they're big enough. Oh, here's a boxer mantis. I don't think I unboxed any of these guys on camera. I ordered a few from Manta Kingdom before. They're very, t a very, very tiny species. They stay small. Um, and this guy's real scared right now. I can see his antenna going crazy, but um, I love them. They're they're so tiny. I just they're they're so cute. So I ordered two of those. Here's the second one. They're probably going to be especially hard to see on camera uh, because they're so small. Don't look at the camera. That makes it even harder to see you. Um, and they tend to ball up like this where they pull their legs in real tight and they just look like an orb of mantis. Um, the, the fluff in his thing's kind of disrupted. I don't know. Can you see? See? I don't know if he did that or what's up with that. Uh, so two of those. And then... Oh, is this an extra spiny? This one's sweet. So I ordered five and he sent me six. This one's real big. 
You're playing with your antenna too. Oh, I saw my finger. They're hungry. Good thing I have lots of snacks for them. Excellent. Well, that's so exciting. Is that everything in the box? It's a cool pack in here. Excellent. Still cool. Although today was actually nice and cool. It's been like 90, 95 degrees the last few weeks. Um, today was nice and cool and balmy. So it was, probably wasn't necessary to send this. But uh, I appreciate people when they send cold packs. Because it's much harder to deal with the cold than it is. Or much harder to deal with the heat than it is with the cold. Um, this paper towel was probably around that at some point. The uh, shipping was... The box was lovely. I'm going to try and keep the address hidden. Um, but they dinged up the box, like here, and then this... Wait, where was it? This whole side is just caved in and ripped open. Um, so that's concerning. Thanks, USPS. I don't even know what happened here. But everybody's okay, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, I expected this box to come tomorrow, which is why I am not at all prepped to make a video, but I gotta get them put away, so I thought I'd make it. Oh, goodness, I love spinies. Just look at them. Do my pose. Easily my favorite species. Um, related to getting more spinies, I've got a few updates. I'm probably going to pause and then jump cut because it's going to take me a minute to round everybody up. Um, but I should show you some of the new adults that I have right now. So I'll go get those guys. Hey, um, so I've got two adult female spiny flower mantises, um, which is really exciting. One of them is a hardcore bitch. Uh, this is blue or why so blue baby grill as her uh, previous owner named her because she has a lot of really blue coloration on her arms and legs um, arms and legs um, it might be hard to come across on camera because as I've said before this camera is garbage she's real aggressive let me see if I can get her mad oh now she's not gonna do it today usually she will threat display at anything um, she's kinda just walking around right now oh no she's getting mad now um, I did attempt to mate her, and I cannot confirm or deny uh, success. I put a male on her. I only had one adult male at the time. I don't have any right now because she ate him. Uh, he backpacked on her for about two days, and I looked away for five minutes, and I came back, and he has no body or legs anymore. Um, which tells me he probably dismounted because she didn't just like eat his face first. Um, which gives me hope that he was successful. That was just a few days ago, so she hasn't laid any oats or anything yet. But she's a very pretty girl, Miss Blue. Um, I've enjoyed having her, even though she is nice and aggressive. Let me see if I can get her off the lid. Oh, no. She likes to do a pinchy. Uh, she's really, really happy to pinch you. And it's not super, it's not painful. It is startling and uncomfortable, though. So anything to avoid a pinchy, uh, I will do. Oh, okay, she's trying to eat me now. Don't do that. I don't have any water on me. She's thirsty, um, and she's trying to drink my skin. The first time I let her do that was when she arrived, and I let her drink water off my skin, and she ate my skin. So I don't do that anymore. Not with her. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put her back. She's not, she doesn't fly or anything. I don't even know if she can. She's kind of chunky. But that's Blue. Um, my pretty girl who hopefully will give me some babies soon. Um, and then I've also got, this is Brain. Um, oh, are you upset today too? You're usually so docile. Oh no, you're fine. Just get her out. So she lives in one of my townhouses. She had a little friend in here, but uh, he was the one who got eaten, so. Oh. Come here, pretty girl. Huh. She's never threat displayed at me, ever. So if she does it today, of course, she'll prove me wrong. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. So this is Brain. I really wish the camera would focus. 
it's just not meant for uh, filming this close up. But she's great. She hasn't been matured long enough to breed, um, which of course I don't have any males right now. I love how dark her eye spot is. It's very pretty. Um, and this is her little townhouse. Although her flowers fell over when I picked her up. Um, these are a great size for adult Walburgi. Uh, they can move their whole lives in them, and you can keep them side by side, or you can take out the divider in the middle. Um, I sell them in my store. Hey, if you want some, let me know. I sell them decorated too, so you can get little flowers and stuff. Please, you're itchy. You're itching my hand. Um, yeah, she, brain here I've had since she was L2. Uh, like like these guys, actually. These, this is an L2 Walburgi, and this is an adult female Walburgi who's trying to drink water off my hand. She's also thirsty. I'll get you guys some water. Um, so size comparison. She would gladly eat, eat him um, in a heartbeat, but I'm not going to let that happen. That's a big waste of money. Um, she didn't dry perfectly when she molted, unfortunately. Her wings are a little crooked at the back, but that's purely cosmetic. She's fine. I love her. <laughs> um, so those are my two adults currently. I also have an adult um, Desert Mantis now. Rice Aroni has matured. Uh, has Where are you going? Come back. Has adorable tiny wings. Um, they're very cute. Very tiny. Um... But I don't handle her, really, because she's real flighty and small. Um, it's just not worth it. They, they bolt, and you just won't find them. They're so fast. And uh, they don't fly, so they just, like, run on the ground. And I have dogs and lizards, so I'd rather not let her loose. Um, although I don't mind handling anybody else, really. So those are the updates for this week. I'm going to try to continue an updating schedule. Uh, no promises, because I'm, you know, I work and I own my own business and I, I do a lot of things. I'm a very busy person. But um, I may make a care video for Walburgies in particular. They're not terribly difficult to care for, aside from nymphs uh, are kind of fragile, in that you can do everything right and they'll just keel over for no reason. <laughs> Um, but I keep them in, in these townhouses, and they do great. I haven't, I've only lost one as a nymph, and, uh, she was L1 when I got her. So, to be fair, she had, like, a 50-50 shot to begin with. Um, and now that I've been pretty successful with raising these guys up, I, uh, might put out a video specific to them, because a lot of the Mantis videos, Mantis care videos online aren't, aren't specific, uh, to a species. And they all have di pretty different care. Like, a spiny flower mantis has a very different care to an orchid mantis, who has very different care to a Chinese mantis, who has very different care to a diabolica. Like, um, you can't give them the same foods necessarily. You can't keep them in the same conditions. So, um, I may do a series on that uh, with the species that I keep, because I don't want to do videos on mantises that I'm not intrinsically familiar with. But, um, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll try to do once a week, um, if I can get enough content for that. Some of it might just be feeding videos or something that I film on my phone. But that's pretty fun to watch anyway. So, um, if you want to see, like, regular Mantis content, check my Instagram. Link should be wherever YouTube has put the description now. Uh, and if it's not, uh, harass me in the comments because I need to put my information over where someone's texting me I can feel my watch buzzing and uh, brain is very concerned about that noise so I'm gonna go ahead and put her back I'm gonna put her back home today's feeding day so I may uh, film some feeding and then uh, upload it here next week um, just to kick things off I don't want to post too often because then I'll just get overwhelmed and I won't post anything mm -mm. say goodbye brain say bye um, so, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe, because if you want to subscribe, you'll do so, and every time someone tells me to subscribe, it makes me not want to. Um, but I'm gonna keep posting Mantis content, so if that's what you're here for, by all means, you're welcome to, but don't feel obligated. Don't feel obligated. Although you should totally follow me on Instagram, because I post some really cute pictures sometimes. Um, 
So I guess until the next video, we won't actually even see each other, but you'll watch my face or my children uh, do things. So that's it. She's cleaning under the arm. Oh, of course she stops as I move her over here. Whatever. 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 Say goodbye, brain.